And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lucian Senna. That's right, we're, we got a deck with all the Senna's. We got six Senna's in here to pair with Lucian. Sige Mister, getting the gifted sub. Bringing the hive. Thank you, Boot. Thank you so much. Kicking off the day. Well, we're already at four out of five subs and we haven't even played a game yet today. Um, all right, so we got um, Demacia, Shadow Isles, putting them together, see if they work. Now, Lucian, if you didn't know, it just needs an allied Senna to die. So that can be either Senna. So both Senna, Sentinel of Light, and just regular old Senna, they both work with uh, Lucian's level up. Now, Senna also need, you know, could see an allied Lucian die to level up. So that's another way to see that. The other way for Senna to level up is to see you slay three plus units with spells. We will have a few ways to make darkness with spells uh, while well, this vile feast. Um, I think single combat will count the spell slaying, but I don't know. It could be the enemy striking. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm pretty sure this works with Senna. Um, but we'll have, so we'll just have to see. Um, and this is just any units with spells, though, also. So it, this doesn't necessarily mean just your opponent's units with spells. So when you slay your own thing with a glimpse beyond, that does count towards leveling up your Senna. But yeah, we just kind of have, like, some good stuff in here. I have a couple of one ofs to kind of fit, fill in the curve, right? Like, I don't want a whole lot of Vanguard Redeemers or Chroniclers or Tenor of Terrors. But, you know, having one just to kind of fill the curve is kind of nice, right? Like, a Tenor of Terror can be just multiple bodies to help with Lucian's level up of needing four allies to die. Or when you have your uh, level up Lucian rallying, you know, you kind of want to be going wide a little bit. So it's in there. Chronicler of Ruin can just, like, kill a Senna and revive it, which is really nice for Lucian. And particularly like the champion Senna, like where you can get the dark, create a darkness again, or like kill the Solari Sentinel to create a darkness again, kill the Vanguard Redeemer that we have for our 7 3 drop, the, you know, the Sentinel, like those things that can create darkness, Rekindler, right? So like it can do some stuff, but it's not going to be like amazing all the time. So it's just like a one of. So we just got some different one ofs in here that can just kind of do some stuff. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and try this out. We're going to go take it to ranked and we're going to go play five games over there. Here we go, five games with Lucian Senna. Mm -hmm. I have the camera off to the side a little bit more than normal. Instead of covering up the, the middle of the screen, usually my camera covers up like the exact middle of the screen. Right now it's covering up the OK button. <laughs> so it's hard for me to see the OK button. All right, what are we playing against? Lulu Poppy. Oh, hey, what a surprise. Lulu Poppy. The only deck anybody plays anymore. I guess I'm kind of keeping all three of these. They're just really good spells. I'm hoping to draw the units. We have a lot more units in our deck than spells. You best believe I don't play. Vandal Commando. Let's cook them. So they are willing to trade these two. Am I willing to trade these two? The problem with me trading is I kind of have nothing left after if we do trade. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. All right, here we go. Pokey stick. Rangers resolve. Yeah, how's it feel to be Rangers Resolve? It's a deck that plays a lot of Rangers Resolves. My gun does the talking. That's a healthy attack. Eight damage, forty percent of the life total. Quest will be over quicker. You can fry a ferret. Well, this is the blade. Hmm. Give me just another 1-1 that could block. But, yep. Not too surprised about that. So they'll be able to challenge and kill one of the Senna's, and then we'll be able to play Vanguard Redeemer. Puts me down to 9. 
I'm blocking with you, Spiderling. Remember the fallen. So seven mana, not enough to play Senna and a Darkness. I can play a Sentinel in a Darkness. For our allies. I think I'm just gonna go open attack. Ugh, man, that's rough. That is rough. If I play Bright Steel Protector, yeah, I mean, I just do. They can have their Fleet Feather Tracker kill the Protector for free, but that would mean they would attack with the Yordle Smith and I'd be able to kill the Yordle Smith, so, like, we'd be trading there. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. There we go. That makes a lot more sense. It doesn't make any sense not to attack with this Owlcat either. Well, like, the Owlcat would have to, you'd want to attack with it first, like, just put it first. Seven mana still. I am here until I am no more. All right, Tanya, we'll change the board after this game. All these two ones are just gonna do me in. I think that commando did its job. If you want something done right, wow. Let me do it. Man, I'd love a withering whale right now. So definitely have to play the Sentinel next round with the lifesteal. Oh, I could have. No, it still had the quick attack. Never mind. The quick attack doesn't go away. All right. I will shape death as easily as clay. A crown god never falters. Loping telescope made that card. Man, loping telescope. We were talking about that like before we played. That loping telescope and Kronk conchologist are just better two drops than Elise. The Drain 2, yeah, the card 5 mana, Drain 2 from two different things is pretty decent with Senna, but I think, I don't know if it's better than Withering Whale, though. Cassandra Talia. Like, Withering Whale would have been really good for us that last game, but... All right, go get him, Lucian. So playing the Sentinel would really open me up to Avalanche. Today we turn the tide of war. So that three-three doesn't die to Avalanche. A little combo there with the Chronicler of Ruin and Redeemer. I'm just going to reset the Redeemer health. A dark cloud looms on the horizon. This board's really cool. It is time Before there was there was just sound bugs on these boards, and so I hadn't used them very much, but. Looking pretty cool. Push back the darkness. Got your back. Shadows. 
don't know, maybe we need to be playing the Sentinel first. So playing these two, Sharp Sight plus Pursuit is 5 mana. I just definitely want to kill this 4-5 to slow this down. I know we could, like, go after the Lissandra here instead. So they're down to two. We have a chance of killing them next round with this Ixtali Sentinel. But they don't have any Nexus healing. It is a possibility. But they do. Why does this have to do it to an enemy? Why can't I do two damage to my own Chronicler of Ruin? I need to do that. But so much for them not having Nexus healing. <laughs> they had immediately play two cards that are both Nexus healing cards. I don't love our chances from here, of course. Let's talk about your Getting dark. Don't love the chances from here, but they don't have that many cards left. Well, the Preservarium is going to help them out. That was close. We almost got him. That was very close. Down, sure, but never out. You know, like you're that that's a fair point. Those other two drops that they've been making are just as good as Lucian. Lucian is kind of a follower instead of a champion. I like the sand. Which way the attack token round two? For protector on the tracker round two. Alright, I'm happy with that trade. I have my orders. And I have my doubts. Where's my axe? My shield is yours. Everything's in place. I'll stop you. I think I'm waiting on the Lucian. Next round we'll be able to... I mean, I'll take the trade with either. Let's see, but then they play Misfortune. I don't have to take the trade right now. If I, I attack, they block with Grenadier. Oh, they're playing Darius, not Gangplank. Okay. We're at 13. I think Vile Feast is my only Nexus healing card. Hey, Harvey. No one's the wiser. Harvey joining in. Why is the Solari Sentinel a worthwhile card? Yeah, basically because it just kind of makes a darkness and 
you know, three mana, three two is all right. It makes it makes another card. Um, it's it's expensive, right? But it's uh, could be something else for sure. Don't get in my way. Yeah, all the dark, all the ways to make the darkness do more damage are in Bandal City. We're kind of playing all the darkness cards we can. Like, Vagar, yeah, we could be playing Vagar, but then that would take away from one of our Lucians or Senna's. We're not doing that bad right here. They only have three cards. Our game's been close. As far as Adarius goes, um, okay, ready. Stand and fight. Yeah, we want to stay above ten for Darius. We're doing an okay job with that. We're at eleven. Never mind, going down to ten. Perfect. Get back to eleven before Darius. <laughs> and that can kill the Legion Rear Guard also. Because besides Darius, like we we look like we've stabilized pretty well. They, have, they just have like one and two and three mana cards. We're, we're looking pretty good. See, the Sentinel card isn't amazing, but it just kind of fits with both champions. We need units to die for Lucian, so we need to play units, but then we also need to have spells that kill stuff, so we need spells for Senna, and this kind of just does a little bit of both, but it's not. it doesn't do either particularly well. Nitting Goon says, somebody needs to explain why Teemo, Fizz, Tristana didn't get Omega Squad skins in this expansion. I don't know. Like, they didn't do very much in this expansion for, like, the extras. Yeah, this expansion just didn't have... I'll just play this card. The expansion didn't have any... Um, like, there's no updates to the Lava Legends. I was really disappointed with that. There was no new skins... Um, you know, like, it just didn't have anything like that alongside with it. But I agree, I think they did do really well with the card set. I think they did really well with just, like, the actual, like, power level of the cards and stuff. Um, yeah, I think they did, did a great job with that. I think the Bandalwood ex expansion and region is a really well-designed region. Hey, there we go. Lulu Poppy. I haven't seen this deck in a long time. Let's just mulligan the two three drops. See if we find other better stuff. Fleet Feather Tracker. That card is quality. That's the thing, like, this is, this is why we lost the game the first time. Is it just had multiple Poké Sticks, multiple Loping Telescopes, right? Just a lot of two mana cards that are good, that also just provide a lot of card advantage. They gave Bandle City a ton of card advantage. Just all the, all the cards replace itself. It's, it's the new Targon. This is very bad for us, for obvious reasons. Like this is, this card 
So Bandle City Mirror makes Loping Telescope that just makes Bomber Twins that makes something else. It is a little absurd. By that, I mean a lot absurd. So does this mean they have an, a third Pokey Stick? Like that's the only other thing that's going to kill this Lucian, right? Is a third Pokey Stick? I wouldn't mind Chronicler of ruining the Tenor of Terror, because then we get another Bass of Burden, and we get a second kill for the Lucian. I think that's what I'm going to do. They just have all three Pokey Sticks. Pretty nice life. I think every single card they've played has replaced itself with something else. Yeah, yeah, every single card they've played has just replaced itself. I should make a speech. There's the first card they've played the entire game that hasn't replaced itself. At least they're just covering up other cards. Take the hit. Rally just to attack with the six two. Okay, so fighting here and here turns the dragon into being a five three, so that can block one of these, which can block one of these, that can block that. I take two. Maybe a trade here also. I'm just not I'm not sure if I make this trade or not, or if I wait, you know, for Lucian and for the impact. I think I'll make the trade. Obviously, getting Mayor off, like, getting Mayor out of here is always good for the mana cost considerations. This attack puts them... Right now, if they have nothing, this attack puts them to one. Uh, but they do have something. The question is whether or not to... Wait on the Screeching Dragon, wait to be able to Concerted Strike. I, I guess I can't attack here and here unless I, I'd have to have Screeching Dragon challenge. So maybe this helps them out in their kind of problem of going too wide. No, we should trade. Hey Zach, games are going good. We're trying out some new decks today. We're trying Lucian and Senna together. Wasn't really expecting too much from it, but we're one and two and we've had all three games being pretty competitive and this game's very competitive as well. And so that's kind of all you can hope for are good competitive games. And that's what we have been having.
Make sure you've got your own. This mama is the beast mama. So they still have one of these two cards is another landmark from a Bomber Twins. Better than sharp side, I suppose. Not a ton better. So the last card's a landmark, and then they get to draw two thanks to the Preservarium. These loping telescopes would just just kill us. And they just kill us. Killed us last time. Yeah, like that one card just makes all these. Uh, so we have a lot of impact that we have to deal with. And elusive also. It's a good last card to have. That Ranger's Resolve, but too much loping telescopes. I think my opponent played four or five loping telescopes this game, and there's just too many of them. Like, Twisted Fate Swain should be awesome these days. Alright, Caitlyn, Timo. Okay. Caitlyn, Timo. I do really like Sharp Sight being able to block Timo. But we kind of need units also. Starting with all the threes. Because if we don't play anything round one or round two, round three, we will have the darkness that we can cast. I am here until I am no more. So we want to attack first because of troll chant. We don't want a darkness, and then they troll chant, and then I have the minus two attack. Good. Scoping the area. Gaze into the light. Here's my calling card. Now we wait. All right, Mordecai with the donation deck from Nelber. For the meme tier deck with Mirror Mage, Victor, and Glorious Evolution. Awesome. Alright, I'll write it down. Officer J.S. Hartfield, Unit 6. My shield is yours. Observe and go. I just don't feel like this is going to go my way. Like, I sharp sight. Pardon. 
They kind of sharp side the tracker, but then they just use a Brittle Steel or Elixir of Iron or Troll Chant or anything. This game's just not going to go my way. Good hand with round one Teemo and round, one, round three Senna and a bunch of interaction after that. Alright, so we only went 1 and 4 with our deck, but we played competitive games. This game, not so competitive. Like, this game, their hand was awesome, and they just steamrolled us. But for the most part, we've played pretty competitive games. Dawning Shadow's gonna go. In on the mob. Is that five flash bombs? Ready to fire. <laughs> Yeah, the music comes from the board. Each board has different music. This is the Sentinel board with the Sentinel mu music. So it certainly felt like our deck was okay, right? Like it wasn't special. It was simply okay. Kind of have to like I hate drawing two cards, but I'm just making sure this Caitlyn doesn't strike. Here's my calling card. Push on without me. Push back the darkness. It's not like anything that we re do here really matters that much with them assuredly having frostbite. Like they have a million cards over there, right? They're, they're, they're drawing three cards around. Like they're they're gonna have frostbite. Lucian's gonna get frostbit. Wow, they just passed? So I could use this Ranger's Resolve, but I don't even want to right now because I just want to take this. He's like, the Ranger's Resolve would have saved the 3 3. And that was kind of my plan, but I don't want to like play that and then they do something else. Like, they are two life. Like, 
Maybe. So this will strike and do one damage to my Nexus. I'll probably need to play that Ranger's Resolve, but I was just shocked that that even worked that well. Could we actually pull this off? We need to. Obviously, if the Caitlyn strikes, we lose. Okay, so we need to not draw puff caps. No. All right, that'll do. So there we go. One and four. Took a little longer to lose than I expected. Be, did end up being pretty close. That was kind of the theme of our deck. It was pretty close. You know, we played against really good decks. We we're playing just like this little brew putting together Lucian and Senna. Played against very good decks. And we, we played close games. And that's what we had. You know, so it's not that far off. If you want to try it out later, if you got ideas for improving it, feel free to, to try that. But Lucian just doesn't feel like a very good champion. Kind of Lucian and Elise, just these don't feel like very good champions anymore. Um, with just the new two mana cards in Bandle City that are just awesome. You know, like we had our opponents were playing like these kind of two drops, especially the the Loping Telescope, the lo Loping tel Telescope, this thing, the Bomber Twins. Like, you know, like they're just two drops that like get you more really good cards. Pokey stick was a huge problem. Deal one draw more really good cards. And so my opponents just had more card advantage with us than us with those kind of cards. And it's just it's like, yeah, you could you could give it like another power and another health and quick attack, is what Lucian has. But wouldn't you rather just be manifesting awesome cards that you have three choices and you get to just choose really good cards? Those two drops are great. The ones the Bandle City ones, and they are kinda outclassing, as we see here, they're outclassing Lucian, they're outclassing Elise. And they just make it like these other two drops that these these champion two drops attack well, but they don't give you more card advantage and don't really help you out with late games and, and things like that. And those other cards do. All right, but there we go. That was trying Lucian and Senna, the champion, together. If you have an idea of putting you know Lucian and Senna, these two cards together, definitely leave them in the comment section over there on YouTube. Be really interested to hear that. If you have a better idea than what I had. Because these, you know, like I just didn't, I didn't do too well with the deck. Like we, we were, our deck was okay, right? Like we, you know, like we, we were in close games. We were in close games, but we didn't finish them out. If you have an idea of like how to finish out these games, that's a better way to say it. Then let me know if you got a way to make the deck better. All right, but that's going to be it here though for our first deck for Lucian Senna. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button, leave those comments like I was talking about. Let me know if you got any ideas. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.